So the, the Food Switch app um, has been launched in Australia and New Zealand. What it uh, does is it allows consumers to get quick and easy information about the healthiness of, of foods they're eating. And the way it does it is it allows you to um, download the app to your smartphone and then you, you open the app, uh, which brings up the, the smartphone camera. You hold that over the barcode uh, of the product. What it does is then acquire the barcode, match it uh, to the database, and it pops up what's called a traffic light label uh, information uh, about the food. And so basically you get a red, bad, amber, okay, green, good uh, indicator for levels of fat, sugar, uh, and salt. What it also does is it searches the database um, for other similar but healthier alternative products and it lists those uh, underneath the product you've, uh, you've selected as sort of a suggestion for, for something you might want to switch to. The, the app has been you know, far more successful than, than, than we ever dreamed it would be. So we launched it in Australia um, almost two years ago now. And um, overnight, it became the most popular free app in the iTunes store, knocking even games off the top. And we didn't realize at the time because we'd never um, you know, made any apps, but actually this was, this was quite a feat. Um, it then um, continued to be um, pretty popular. It, it's been downloaded by about 400,000 people um, in Australia. Uh, it remained in the, the top 10 sort of health and fitness um, in, in, in the iTunes store uh, for, the, for the first 12 months. But the really interesting thing about the app was actually sort of when it didn't work. So we recognized when we launched the app that there were, we had a database of about 10,000 products which sat behind it, but we knew there were probably five or six times more products actually on the shelves in Australia. So we put this little request um, into the app which said, if you scan a product and it doesn't come up, then take a photograph of the front of the pack, take a photograph of the, the nutrient panel, and we'll add it to the database. Now, 24 hours after launch, we'd already got 26,000 photos. And still, almost two years later, we get 500 photos a day of all the new things uh, that come onto the market. So this has turned into, you know, from a tool that was really just about providing consumers with information to a way of crowdsourcing what we believe is pretty much entirely complete, entirely contemporary information about the whole uh, processed food supply in Australia, um, now also in, in New Zealand, and soon um, also in, in the UK with the app intended to go live in the UK um, in the first quarter of next year.